Welcome back to Tech by Pike. A couple weeks ago, I was looking at an advertisement online for a uh, smaller, more portable screen, and I came across this 12.3-inch uh, Full HD IPS touchscreen. And, uh, and it, uh, this is by Pretchen. And um, I was thinking to myself, well, what real world application would I be using a screen like that? And I, I had to think about it a little bit. But I go live on TikTok, and I guess one of the things that I could use it for is isolating my chat uh, during my lives down to one screen. Um, and that would be something. So my uh, laptop screen wasn't so crowded. So I, I could use it for that. I could use it uh, while gaming so I could monitor the temperatures of my uh, desktop or laptop um, and or the uh, frames per second FPS of the game that I'm actually playing. I can isolate that to this screen. Uh, there's also uh, some other applications that I could use. Uh, while gaming, and that's uh, Discord. So I can isolate Discord down to the screen while the other screens are primarily just about the game um, and WhatsApp. So uh, there's a number of things that I could use this screen for. And so I thought to myself, well, why don't I bring it in and uh, hook it up to my laptop and see exactly uh, the quality of the screen itself. So, uh, like I said, this is a 12.3 uh, IPS full HD um, uh, 1920 by 720 screen. Um, it is uh, a touch screen and it also has speakers on board. Uh, so that's interesting. I'm interested to see how that works. And uh, so anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this. And I'm going to hook it up to my laptop and uh, we'll check out the screen quality and all that. Let's get into it. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. comes with a stand, it looks like. Looks like HDMI to HDMI cable. More cables. It might be USB-A to USB-C. Might be the same. Then you get your little charging brick here which is uh, USB-A. Let's take that out real quick. Hmm. Yep, it's a USB-A port. Okay. It looks like we got a USB-C to USB-C cable. Check that out. Got instructions. And we've got... Oh, display adjustment instructions. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all that. 
LED display product manual. Talks about the connections, USB-C, mini HDMI, some menu keys. All right. Oh, you could actually hook this up to a Android or a phone and use it as a second screen maybe. That's interesting. We might try that with my iPhone. Let's get rid of that. All right, that is HDMI to HDMI. I'm not gonna unwrap all these cables because I'm not exactly sure what I'll need to connect up to my laptop. So I'm just gonna leave it out. And I'm just gonna unpack one of these because they're both the same. Yeah, USB-C to USB-A, the bigger one here, uh, cable. So put that off to the side. I'm guessing this is probably the same. Yeah. I'm not sure why we would need two, but all right. <clears throat> and then we got our USB-C to USB-C. I have a sneaky suspicion this is the power cable maybe? No, it can't be because the USB-A port on the power brick. So um, I guess it's got to be one of these guys. One of these white cables. Okay. Anyway, uh, here is another cable, USB-C to USB-C. Um, please connect this port to our product. Oh, I see. So this goes to the actual screen. Okay. And this goes to the laptop or PC, whichever one. All right. And this is the stand. I see. Okay. Interesting. Or does it go this way? Ah, it's this way. And, this, and the screen sits in here. Okay. And you can tighten them and loosen them as well. Move them around. Tighten it up so it doesn't fall over. It's pretty sturdy. I can't imagine banging on the screen so hard that it moves it if you got it all nice and tight up here. Okay, scoot that over. Power brick. Let's move on to the screen. It's actually pretty light. Got lots of buttons. And it looks like we got ourselves something protecting the screen. And take this tape off here and let's see if it comes off in one fell swoop here. Okay, there it is. There is the 12.3 screen. And I see the two speakers on the bottom. It looks like uh, you can maybe mount this as well. Maybe uh, on a bracket or something on the wall, possibly. That's cool. Okay, so on the left-hand side here, we got your HDMI. Whoops. On the left-hand side here, we got your HDMI, USB-C. USB-C, and then over here, we got your headphone jack, you got your power button, I think volume rocker maybe, uh, and it looks like you have an options button here that'll probably bring up a screen for options. Um, I think this might be uh, to manipulate the screen from portrait to landscape. That's a, that's a really big guess on my part, so we'll have to see. I wanna... Yeah. 
fits perfectly. Okay, so I ended up connecting the screen to my 12.9 iPad Pro. And I want to test it on here instead of a laptop, but I'm pushing the options button here and it looks like we've got a number of different uh, options here that we can tweak. Uh, brightness of the screen, looks like we got some color temps, uh, OSD setup, uh, we can do a reset, and then we got, oh, volume of the speakers. Uh, like I said, this is a 720p, uh, 60 hertz screen. I don't think I mentioned that. All right. So while I was setting up, I noticed under my iPad options that I could go to display and brightness, and I can see the 12.3 full HD screen along with the uh, screen for my iPad. And uh, you can actually um, configure the arrangement of the screen, whether it's on the side or if it's above or below. Um, so you can't move the actual uh, 12.3 screen, but you can definitely move the iPad screen to any one of these spots here. Uh, just depending on how you your how you use your iPad. All right, we're going to test a video off of my YouTube channel. It's of me reviewing a uh, GoPro 13 mod, and the voice that you hear is me, but it's not coming from my iPad. It's coming from the internal speakers of the smaller monitor here. So anyway, uh, we'll check that out as well. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, I'll go ahead and pause that. The music on the logo was a little tinny, in my opinion, but that's okay. Um, and uh, once you got to my voice and you can hear me uh, ripping the zip off that box uh, pretty clearly, so not bad. Um, the video quality was pretty decent on this little screen. The only thing that I don't like about this screen is that the touch feature of the screen is really glitchy. Uh, I was able to get it to uh, respond to my touching on the YouTube and the uh, Safari icon, but now it's not doing it anymore, and I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, is there an update maybe I need to do? Uh, maybe. Uh, that's a possibility. Or maybe it's just broken on this screen, uh, the one I bought. Or maybe it's an issue with uh, a number of them. Maybe it's just an issue that needs to be fixed by Pretchen. Um, on their 12.3 uh, screens. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, and it's unfortunate because I really wanted to test out the touch feature of it. Anyway, um, if I knew there was an issue with these screens, whether it was a blanket issue with all of them or just one or two or three people um, commenting on the fact that they had problems with the touch feature. Uh, I probably wouldn't buy this. I would probably look for something from another manufacturer. Um, so anyway, uh, I can't really recommend it. It was a hundred bucks. It's not a lot of money, but it's not, I mean, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. So, Hey, uh, when you're uh, told that something's going to do something for a certain amount of payment, uh, you expect it to work. So, uh, unfortunate. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to keep this screen and uh, check out the Pretchen website and see if maybe there's an update or something. Uh, but I saw nothing in the instructions that said, first you need to update it before you start using it. So anyway, and usually that is the case uh, if there's an update to be had on a piece of technology. Usually they'll have something in the box that says, hey, you need to do this uh, to make it work effectively. So there you go. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It helps us out on the channel and gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.